Since posting my initial videos about the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i, I've had a lot of questions in the comment section about considering the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i. What are the benefits to choosing the 7 over the 5? So in this video, we're going to talk about pricing, specs, and even get into some performance comparisons to talk about the differences on choosing a processor of importance or a GPU of importance. Because to me, that's one of the biggest defining differences between the 7 and the and the 5. Now, as a disclaimer, I've yet to review the 5i. However, I've had word that I'm going to be getting one in soon. So a lot of this is based on data that I have over the past three years of reviewing specifically every laptop I can get my hands on for creative professionals. So let's dive right in. Now, as we're looking at the pricing between the Lenovo Legion 7i Pro and the 5i Pro, the starting point right now as it sits for the Pro 7i, sorry if I say it backwards, I'm used to the old way, for the Pro 7i is 1999 US dollars versus the Pro 5i at 1499 US dollars. Now the main difference between these two laptops is going to be the CPU you can get in the laptop. For the Pro 5i you can get the i7 13700HX and for the Pro 7i you get the i9 13900HX. You can swap GPUs, RAM very easily, but as a whole, it's going to be an i9 versus an i7. Now, the Pro 5i is also offered in an i5 version, but personally, I really wouldn't consider that one. I think as a benchmark, it's a good starting place for the i7 processor. Over the past few years, my wife has had her personal information stolen and accounts open without her approval. A while back, we found some of these accounts and took action to eliminate these issues. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. Aura will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Kaiser to try a two-week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need, all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two-week free trial with my link in the video description. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. It's quite frightening, actually. Aura.com slash Benji Kaiser or scan the QR code on the screen right now. I think you'll be very happy with the protection that you receive and the level of comfort that you get by using Aura. We have been extremely happy using it for over a year and I definitely recommend it. If you're curious about the exact pricing and availability right now for the Lenovo Legion Pro 7i versus the Pro 5i, you can head down in the description below and click those links. Now, if you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. Now, let's go ahead and look at some performance benchmarks from last year's Lenovo Legion 5 Pro because I think that the processor does not matter as much as the GPU. Now, what I mean by that is you can get an i7 processor and the RTX 4070 GPU and you're going to be just as well off for most creator-focused tasks as having the i9-13900HX with the RTX 4070. Let me show you some examples from last year's data. If we look at the Legion 5 Pro from last year, we're going to be looking at the Ryzen 7 6800H RTX 3060 versus RTX 3070 Ti. The main difference that you'll see, for instance, with the drop frames test is the red footage had 3,938 drop frames for the RTX 3060. That's a 6 gig VRAM card. The RTX 3070 Ti had 243 drop frames. So absolutely the advantage was the GPU, not the CPU. Let's go ahead and look at some 3D modeling benchmarks in Autodesk 3ds Max, Autodesk Maya, 
PTC Creo and SolidWorks. You can see that the benefit is going to come mostly from a improved GPU. The reason being is the clock speed on the processor is only so much clock speed from a single core performance. Where you get the biggest advantage going from i7 to i9 is going to be in the multi-core performance. So if you're a big multitasker, I would then consider the Legion Pro 7i because it comes with the i9 processor. And by big multitasker, what I mean is six to 10 apps open at once and running, really using performance. However, myself, I'm a semi big multitasker. I will you know, be running a recording software. I might be editing or exporting a video and maybe editing a thumbnail, listening to music and having some Chrome tabs open. That's pretty aggressive multitasking, but it's not extreme by any stretch of the imagination. So for me, when I'd be making the decision, I would save money on the CPU and go with the i7 13700HX and I would put my money into the GPU and RAM. My perfect setup would be a Legion Pro 5i, i7 13700HX, 32 gigs of RAM, and an RTX 4070. That would be fantastic for me. Now, by doing that, I would put the price point of the laptop I'm purchasing at about $2,000. Now, right now, I would be saving about $350 by choosing the Legion Pro 5i over the Legion Pro 7i. So if that $300 is worth it in savings, that might be an advantage to you. Now, how I would configure the laptop if I was purchasing the Legion Pro 5i, I would get the i7-13700HX. I would get 32 gigs of RAM. I would not upgrade the storage and I would go for the RTX 4070. And that puts the laptop at about $2,015. If I wanted that same configuration plus the i9, from the Pro 7i, I'd be at $2,354. So it's about a $300 difference between the Pro 7i and the Pro 5i. So that $300 is a big difference and it won't make that huge of a performance difference in regards to single core performance. Now, if we look at last year's model, again, from the benchmark perspective, and we go to something a little bit more simple, something a little less graphics intensive, you can still see that by getting the better GPU, you're still getting a good bump in performance going from 881 on the Photoshop benchmark to 1,160. Now, if you were to change the processor going from i7 to i9, you might get a little bit of a lift, but not as much as changing the GPU because the single core performance does not increase that much between i7 and i9. It is mainly the multitasking performance, the multi-core performance. As an initial video, I wanted to get this out because I know you guys have had a lot of questions and this is what I would do if I was deciding between the Legion Pro 5i and the Legion Pro 7i. Full reviews coming for both the Pro 7i and the Pro 5i, so keep your eyes on the channel. Definitely subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss them. I'll see you guys here in the next video.